Sean Johnson from businessprogrammer.com here and today I'm going to be looking at how DSOM works. In future episodes I will also look at SOMIF which does kind of a similar job. DSOM was the first function that I learned around database tech so let's have a look at it and let's see how it works. First element of using DSOM is that you need to think in terms of data tables databases are similar to this you have the top row being the column names or the field names and so you have your your column headers and it's also important that you don't have any spaces between the columns what we're going to do is let's come up with a question i want the total volume traded on the nyse on fridays so in order to get that, I'm going to have to modify the data slightly. So if I want to have the total number of trades on the NYSE from this data set for Fridays, I'm going to need to derive what our Fridays from this date. So let's just first of all create a new tab and I'll call and this will be the VLOOKUP tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the weekday function and what the weekday function does is it translates the dates to the actual day of the week that those dates corresponded to. So in this instance, let's first of all create the lookup table that I'm going to run the weekday off of because I like things to be a bit more visual. Don't need this lookup table, but it will make the data look nicer. So in this instance, I'm just going to type one, two, and I will just drag this out to seven for the days of the week. There we go. And so one is going to be Sunday, and then two will be Monday. This should just work just fine. And what I'm going to call the, this table is days table. If we go to cell B1, I guess, I'm going to insert the column. There we go. So I'm going to call this weekdays. We now need to input the actual function for weekdays. So I go to my date and time functions and I get the weekday function. And for the serial number, which is the date serial number, we'll take it from cell A2. And the return type is going to be one, meaning that one is a Sunday. That's come up with a date. So you're wondering, hey, hey what's happening here? But that's because of the cell formatting. The cell has, has auto formatted for dates mainly because the cell to its left was a date. So if I go format, format cells, choose general, and you'll see a five was returned there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that weekday function into with a VLOOKUP function. So what we do now is I just type VLOOKUP. And for the lookup item, it's going to be this weekday function, which in this instance, returned five and now for the table array i'm going to reference the table i just created so i'm going to press the f5 key to give me the names i've created in this spreadsheet i click on days table click ok and then as you can see the uh, excel has helped us out by popping us over to the days table so we can see what we're looking up and the column index that i'm going to want is column two because that's the column that's giving me the actual textual day. Now, if I double click, that function will be filled down all the way to the bottom of the data. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is just freeze the panes, view, freeze panes to keep the top row always visible, as you can see. What I need to do now is create a DSUM function. So the next step of this process is I'm going to create a range name for this data. I need to build a criteria. So the first part of the criteria is the weekday will be part of the criteria. I highlight those two cells and I will call this volume criteria. So now I will write my DSUM function. So let's first of all have a look at what range names we created. We've created a days table and a volume criteria but I didn't create the database. Okay, so I've selected the database and I will call it stock data. Okay, so equals D sum, open parenthesis, 
database and if I press the F5 key I can quickly get it stock data and the field I'm going to be summing is going to be the volume field we have this figure here now what we have to do is verify this figure so first of all I'm going to make the figure easy to read format cells number uh, custom I prefer custom and I'll just choose that format there so it's basically 1613 million rounded to 1614 million so that's our desum function it's basically summed stock data on the field volume using the volume criteria which in this instance was fridays so let's see what's happened here so basically the criteria has looked up all instances of fridays for the volume criteria but i said on the nyse so i made a mistake there so let's now modify this function so if i now type into the criteria market and the market has to be nyse okay so if i now adjust you see this function is looking at the range name volume criteria and volume criteria is just these two cells not these here so one way of quickly changing this is if i go to formulas name manager and i go to volume criteria and i choose edit volume criteria and i now make volume criteria cover not just column p but column q as well so the new volume cri criteria will be p2 to q3 and watch the number drop so there we go it's now 1.1106 1, million so let's verify this and what i've got to do to make this a whole lot clearer is just shift these cells down okay so that's better so now let's do our filter all over again data filter weekday is going to be friday and we want to search on the nyse now watch when we choose the nyse these two numbers should become the same so there you have it that's how a d sum works now what's useful is you can have a lot of different d sums and the criteria on the d sums become quite easy to adjust so say for example i only want the volume on fridays of bac well bac is in the ticker field so if i just insert a column here and i now make this ticker i type ticker in here and i then type bac we now can see that the volume traded of bac was 365 million and to verify this on our auto filter we just go to our ticker and choose bac only and you can see 365 million so it's a very good way of having functions that are neat because you it's a because it's a simple function you do, it's easy to debug decode because you can always check the veracity of the function by just doing an auto filter instead of chasing down a whole load of linked formulas to see if a mistake has been made which means it's also very easy to do check digits and that's the sum